Aaron, I talked to a guy today who has just been through that very thing you're talking about, Luke Elzinga, who has uh, had some fever and sore throat uh, over the weekend. Now, he had a couple of days after that, he got to feeling better, thought, well, you know, maybe you should get tested. So uh, his efforts were a bit frustrating. And so I, I took the saliva test. I activated my, my test online, um, followed all the instructions about you know, labeling the vial and, and putting it in a bag and then in a box and then in another bag with the UPS return label. Um, and then I was looking for a UPS drop-off location. And that was a uh, test Iowa that he was talking about. Now he got, for, he got it from a friend and then he found that he had to drop it at a UPS location, as he said, but some of the locations were inside a store, so he didn't want to do that. Finally, he found a USB, U, uh, a, a UPS drop box, but the tracking didn't work, so he was unsure if his test even got there. So then he started scouring around the area, the metro area, until he found GS Labs in West Des Moines, where he got a test this morning. Now here at Polk County Health, we asked Nola Agner Davis for her advice. First of all, it comes down to are you sick or are you not sick? Do you have symptoms if you do not have symptoms? If you are sick and if you have symptoms, we want you to call your health care provider. We want you to call urgent care and let them know you have symptoms and need to be seen. This is a great location for you to get tested. Now we know there are a lot of individuals who are traveling or going to concerts and they say that you would need a negative COVID test before you go anywhere. Urgent care is not the place to do this at. Now, uh, Luke's test, the good news, he got a, the results back about two hours later, came back negative. So that was a good thing for him. Now, basically what Nola was saying is that, you know, basically if you think you need a COVID test, you want to do it as fast as possible, checking with the area pharmacies first. What, she, what you don't want to do is go into an urgent care clinic uh, unless you're sick. She said, if you're sick, that's fine but they want to try to keep those free uh, to deal with people that are actually ill and need the help. So basically, you know, just look around. It's, there's no easy, obvious answer to this, but, you know, just search around. All right.